Hi, I'm Adam. This is going to be a short tutorial on how to build something using Earthly, which is a tool for making your builds more reproducible. I have this sample Go project. Looks like this. Um, you can pull it from our demo repo if you want to try this yourself. You can find it right there. So if I look at the main.go program, it looks like this. It's basically a hello world. I mean, it is a hello world. And if I run it, yeah, no big surprise there. So I also have a Docker file that looks like this. So what we're going to do is make an earth file that builds this program inside of a container. And by building it inside a container, we'll get the benefits that we know that the build step will be reproducible. There's not some system level dependency that you need to have on your machine that hasn't been explicitly stated. There's some other benefits as well, but that's just what we're going to focus on. So the first thing we need to do to make a containerized build is we're just going to copy our existing Docker file to an earth file and use that as a good starting place. Then let's edit it. So here's our Docker file. We have uh, from you know, a Golang base image, we set a working directory. That all makes sense in a, an earth file. So we're just going to add build here. And then this entry point line, we're not going to need. We're not making a Docker container. We don't need a entry point. So we delete that. So if we save that and exit, then we can use the earth command line, which lets you specify a plus symbol and then a build target, and then it will execute whatever those steps are inside of a container. So we can see here, it, it copied in the files, it ran the build demo. If we look at our source, though, we don't see that it actually generated that demo program. It actually did generate it, but it generated it inside of a container. Um, so we need to get that back out. So let's open our earth file again. So we know that on this line, we're generating this program demo, but we need a way to save it out to the host machine. So to do that, we just have to add in save artifact demo, which is our file name. And then we use the as local to tell it to save it to the host machine. And we'll save that as build.demo. So if we save that and exit. We can run our earth build step again. And then if we look at the output, there we go. We can see we have a build demo file. We're making progress. All right, let's try to run this and see what happens. We get a format error. The reason is because now that we're building it inside of a container and I'm on a Mac, that means that it's building it for a Linux architecture, but that's not what I need to run. I need a Mac architecture. So that's easy to fix. Let's go back in. The go build command actually takes the environment as an option and can build for various architectures. So we need to specify that we want to build for Darwin and AMD 64. If we exit, then we can run our build again. Interesting thing, you can see these cache lines here. So Earthly knows that nothing's changed, so it won't have to rerun these steps. We didn't change any of the Go files, so it caches them. It doesn't have to redo the copy. Um, so now if we look, we have our build demo and if we try to run it, hello world, it works. So this is just a simple example of what you can do with Earthly. If you go to earthly.dev, you can see more. I'll try to make some more tutorials going through some more advanced steps. And I think you'll start to see the benefits of a reproducible build script that is easy to understand. Thanks.